That is free. I don't know what is happening. I really don't know. So when I go into that, I'm suddenly having a sinus wave going around. Amazing. Um, we are gonna set the wind velocity to probably gonna be minus one so that we're having like a downwards thing going on. Uh, amplitude up, swirl size also going up and let's see what we're having here. Some... Uh, I don't know if if the movement of the sinus wave is affecting it, but I guess it does. I have a slight feeling that it does. But I think it's actually quite quite cool. It is not, not really what I'm searching for and what I want to have, but it's cool. It really is. Um... I think I do want to have a bit of a different air resistance and or just a bigger swirl size. Maybe just a bigger swirl size and a bit less roughness. Nope. This is not what I wanted to do, but it's fine. Oh, I've set it to 500, yeah. That might be the reason why it does, um, does, does, does load quite long or has a lot of uh, smoothness to it, a lot of uh, slow motion-ness to it, which it normally doesn't really have. Um, but I think this looks actually rather rather okay as it is might actually be quite good then uh particle vdb from particle it's quite always the same but uh by kind of figuring some things out uh like here uh things are quite nice ah i do remember the trail I do remember the trail and I do want the trail to be rather rather long. Uh, maybe something like this. This might actually be way too dense. But something like that might kind of be cool. Let's see. Let's see what we're getting out of that. Um, 0 0.3 is, I think, the lowest that we can get here. Oh, it loaded. So we do this. And then we go to 0.2. Maybe 0.1. And now we're having this. Uh, we may indeed go here and go to 100 just to see what is happening then. Yes, it does look... It does look kind of smooth, which I enjoy. What if we go to 360? Might be good. Might also not be good. Um, I think it's really good. So 360 is good. What about 480? If it is better, the longer it uh, runs, it's it's amazing. Yeah, I think it's 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 also quite good. Um, what I do not like is the size of it yet. So I might have to go and we might also go to the full 500 quite. Doesn't have to be that precise. Yeah, I think we're gonna, we're gonna go with that and see, see what is happening there. I think it's, it's actually quite quite good um i think zero eight might be okay might actually take a shit ton of time to load no it's actually it's actually fine and i think it is also quite perfect i think it is also quite perfect what if we go back to 50 there might give it a bit more um space a bit more difference here 
we might actually also have a look quickly at that and see whether we can maybe or should maybe space things out. I think I should actually space things out. I don't want to have like really small particles, um, but I might get rid of them anyway by um, by smoothing things out then in the end. But I guess this this is fine. So what if we are actually smoothing it with the VDB smooth? Is this looking good? I think it looks quite good. Um, and we are going to segment, no, segment, segment by connectivity, all of that. And we're going to blast away everything that is somehow just floating around because I don't want to have that. So delete non-selected. And I would also like to select something, please. Please don't crash. Yeah. Surface zero, which I think is quite fine. I also do not want to have any color there, please. Wonderful. And then we're going to convert, uh, convert all of that to a polygon soup. Good soup. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's actually good. I think that's actually one of the better that I did. Let's see what we are, what is happening when we are going back to the 100. If, if, the, if this looks comparably good, I do wonder. Might actually be a tiny bit better. We might also try to go to the trail and do 1.5. I don't know, I should space it a bit more. Now I've done the opposite. So shouldn't make too much of a difference. Yes, besides, so 2.5, because maybe we're getting a few quite interesting holes there and a bit more width and also a tiny bit more detail there for like, you know, some things like this I do find quite interesting. Um, in general, it being a bit more like sometimes kind of organic, which I find really interesting and, and, and really good. So we might go to, to maybe something like five. This might be a bit extreme. Uh, also considering like the small sizes of points that we're having, which then makes sense that uh, something like this is happening, that it is more or less some rather distorted thing. So I guess two is actually quite fine, maybe 2.2, but 2.5, I think, um, was also quite... Now I think that this is actually quite fine. Maybe we can go back with the smoothing iterations to maybe get even a bit more detail back. And yes, we do get actually a bit more detail back. Uh, what I want to do though is merging uh, this one and we go actually 0 0.1 because for some things it's just so unnecessary. I mean, uh, the adaptiveness here is just such such an amazing um, such an amazing tool because um, I mean these these surfaces they don't need that many subdivisions it's just plainly useless and unnecessary period um, I do want to get this and that and the other thing and probably have to transform it transforming that and I don't know where it is there it is something like this apparently yeah but yeah with that being said I'm gonna see the next